I succeeded in fixing a laptop today. Um, it had a problem with the graphics chip. Uh, this is the Gateway W340UA and it has a very famous problem of the graphics chip overheating and desoldering itself from the motherboard. And my cat's using the toilet. Um, I watched a video today on Cube Computer's channel of how he did a reflow on his laptop. I think it was a Toshiba laptop. And it inspired me to get off my lazy butt and work on this one since it had the same problem. You would just click the power button and the fans would spin up and nothing would happen. But I can already tell it's just a very simple temporary fix and it might not last long at all because... I have um, a program called Tech Power Up GPU Z on here, and it tells me the temperature of what the GPU is running at. And at first, sitting at the desktop screen, it was at 57 degrees Celsius, and I was like, eh. Not even minutes later, it was at 62 degrees Celsius, so I already know it <laughs> might not last long at all, but I am proud of one thing that I did fix it. I did the same thing he did. I wrapped around uh, the motherboard with this aluminum foil and used this bowl-like structure to deflect the heat away. Hair dryer did not work. Of course not. But I had something else. I had a little butane torch. And I just did this number around the chip for about three minutes and it worked. It was entirely different from a heat gun, but it worked. So I'm going to go ahead and actually turn it on. And here we'll look at the screen, which will take a bit for the screen to come on. Before, the screen never did come on. And all you did was just get fans running and nothing would come on, but it's freaking working. <laughs> Alright, so that concludes this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'm happy I did my first reflow job on a laptop. Don't know how long it'll last. Alright, thanks for watching this video.